Hi guys, Deirdre here, All Things Art and Books. How you doing? Welcome back to my channel and welcome again if you're new here. I do all kinds of bookish and art videos. If you've been watching my channel, you will know that I have been doing a painting and book review series of the Chronicles of Narnia. And I've been really enjoying immersing myself in Narnia. So I've already done the first five books in the series, so you can check those out if you feel the need. But today's video is the sixth chronological book of the Chronicles of Narnia. This time I painted The Silent Knight from the Silver Chair. It would have been very easy to just paint a silver chair to represent the silver chair, but I wanted to try and bring together a few different aspects of the story. I'll give a book review when you're watching the time lapse. But to explain, I've painted the silent knight. There's a knight in the story who doesn't speak. And we don't know who he is. I, there's also a little character called Glimfeather, uh, the owl Glimfeather. And he helps the children at the start of the story. And of course, Ker Parabell, the seat of the High Kings of Narnia. Now you will notice here I've got some little thorns and things coming out, like they're kind of grabbing the knight or reaching out towards the knight and some thorns here. That is my kind of representation of something in the book and without giving any spoilers away, I included these thorns in the picture with the silent knight to represent a, an enchantment that he is under. And that's all I'm saying, if you've never read the book. But that was my kind of interpretation of that. So I brought that together with Glimfeather and Care Parabell. What follows now is the book review with me painting The Silent Night. And I hope you enjoy it. Um... The Silver Chair begins with Eustace. Now you may remember Eustace from the Voyage of the Dawn Treader. He was the cousin of the Pevensey children and in the Voyage of the Dawn Treader we witnessed his redemption. Now the Pevensey children are not in the Silver Chair but Eustace returns to Narnia this time with a new character, a school friend of his who's a girl called Jill. The story opens with Eustace and Jill trying to get away from school bullies. And in the process of trying to get away from them, they find themselves in Narnia. Now, even though only a year has gone by since Eustace was in Narnia, they soon discover that many, many, many Narnian years has gone by. And this seems to be a bit of a theme with C.S. Lewis. And Eustace discovers that King Caspian is now a very, very old man. And this really, really, really upsets Eustace. However, the children, Eustace and Jill, have been given a mission by Aslan himself. And they've also been given clues by which to accomplish this latest quest. Now, Prince Rillian is Caspian's son. But he has gone missing and it is up to the children to find him. So the adventure begins and they are helped in their quest by an owl called Glimfeather and a marsh wiggle called Puddleglum. Now Puddleglum for me was the best character. He was so pessimistic about everything. He was just hilarious. If you know what Eeyore's character is like in the Winnie the Pooh stories, well, that basically sums up Puddle Glum. But for all his looking on the bleak side of life, he is no less brave when the need arises, and he is firmly on Aslan's side. Now I find this sixth book, The Silver Chair, a little bit of a meandering tale and it was even a little bit slow to start with, but not before too long we soon get wrapped up in the children's adventure and the quest to find out what happened to Prince William. 
And parts of the silver chair also displays, which kind of surprised me a little bit, C.S. Lewis's almost macabre sense of humour in parts. I'm not going to say where that is because it would spoil the story a little bit, but yeah, there's definitely a macabre sense of humour in parts of the story. And something I would say as well, I tend not to read the backs of books or the synopsis on Goodreads anymore. Goodreads is fantastic, don't get me wrong, but they tend to give spoilers even in their story synopsis. So I would just advise if you don't know the story of this, just go into it blind and enjoy the adventure. <laughs> So to sum up my thoughts on the silver chair, it is another wonderful, wonderful Narnian adventure, another masterpiece by C.S. Lewis, and I easily give it a four and a half out of five stars. Just a wonderful, wonderful adventure tale. And we are almost done for this one, guys, but enjoy the rest of the time lapse and what's coming soon. So I hope you enjoyed that guys. Of course it is one more book in the Narnia series so we're coming up to the finale now. I finished the last battle last week and oh wow <laughs> that's all I can say and I already know what I'm going to do for that so I'm really looking forward to the finale in the next video. Thanks for watching, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, all those kind of YouTube things and I'll see you again in the next video. Okay bye guys, bye!